Hey guys, how's it going? Chris, you're back with another video. Uh, I know it's been a little while, but um, I'm back now. I was gone for a little bit. Uh, I had to take some time off work even because I was in the hospital. Uh, but I'm okay now. Uh, thanks. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm back. I got a bunch of stuff to show you. A lot of stuff, actually. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna... There's some games, movies, figures, uh, cards, bunch of stuff. So I'm just gonna get into it. Uh, first of all, I'm actually going to show you something that a coworker gave me. Um, he said he had no use for it and it would look good in my game room and it's pretty awesome. He bought the collector's edition of Persona 4 for the PS3, I don't know, the arena fighter, and it came with a bunch of stuff. Um, he wanted to keep the tarot cards, but he gave me this cool little, uh, blow up guy. When he first gave it to me, he's like, here, here's a blow up doll. I was like, oh, what? Um, but I'm glad it's this. Anyway, uh, he got me this cool teddy. Uh, looks great in the game room. Uh, hang it from the ceiling. It's pretty cool. Yeah, anyway. It's pretty cool. It's the first, uh, Persona piece of swag I got, so, yeah. Gonna hang them back up on the ceiling. So we got that. Um... Also, let's see what we got here. Oh, got some packages in. Um, just out of the blue, my Super NES. Uh, well, I never really had a Super Nintendo. Um, and when I, when I was a kid, I did. But then we got rid of it and upgraded to N64. Blah, 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 blah. So, what happened is my Retro Duo died. It just, it, I guess it was used too much. And, uh, I don't know. It just, it died. So, yeah, it's dead. And I didn't have, I had a Super Nintendo um, that my my wife's mom's boyfriend gave me. And it only inputted black and white. I still have it, but I, I, I want to play Mario RPG. I don't want to play it black and white. So I was talking to Chad Bailey. You guys know the guy. He's the swellest guy. Is awesome. He's like, you know what? I think it might be the power cord. That's what I was thinking too. So I was like, cool, sweet. Uh, so he... Sent me power cord. So, but not only that, he keeps sending more stuff, right? So he finds this this shop, online shop that ships from Canada. He buys it, ships it to me. Yeah, I thanked him so much. So he got me the power cord. Uh, he got me this cool little Game Boy game. It's like uh, it's kind of like Dragon Warrior, uh, Sword of Hope. And he remembered that I needed a memory card for my GameCube, so he got me one of those. It's open, by the way. It's in the thing. So, the thing is, it wasn't the power cord. Which sucks, because he bought me this for nothing. And, uh, which I'll get him back, 100%. We always get each other back. We have each other's backs. So, uh, wasn't the power cord. I googled it and it must be a problem with a lot of people because I found out exactly what it was. It has some kind of module in there that needs fixing and I'm not good with that stuff. So I was like, you know what, whatever, I'm going to buy a new system, right? So I sold my, my Sega Genesis with a bunch of games and because uh, I don't really use it. But now I don't need to use it because I have something kind of like it. And, yeah, so anyways, I'm just going to get into it instead of blabbing. I uh, got the Retron 5. I uh, was really, really stoked to have this. Um, it's pretty much what I'm, what I'm playing Super Mario RPG on right now. Uh, the H, It's HDMI. 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 So it has to be into HDMI input, right? So I can't play it up here. I have to play it downstairs. And it looks awesome. You can put different filters on it. It's great. It's phenomenal. I love it so much. The Restaurant 5. I can't not, you know, talk about more. I can't talk about them anymore because I'm boring you. So, I got that. That's just the box. So, if you hear it falling down, the system's not in there. It's downstairs. Um, so, I bought it off eBay and the guy who was selling it, it was brand new. Uh, he just threw in some games with it and I never even tried them out. I should have tried them out, but I didn't. Uh, it got me a NES game and a SNES game. So I got uh, NES Play Action Football. Never tried it. 
I'm not sure if I will. I'm not a big football guy. And we got Rap Jam Volume 1 for the Super Nintendo. Uh, I might play that. You know, basketball is fun. So, yeah. Got those. Um, also, around the same time I got the, the package from Chad, I got another package from another YouTuber, Nate from the Thrift Dwellers. He also has a channel called uh, BFG Reviews. He reviews toys and stuff like that. And right away, I was drawn to it because you know me I like figures and stuff like that too so I was watching a video of his and uh he picked up a bunch of figures from Goodwill and he was talking about how uh he got some Power Ranger stuff and he was like oh you know what oh this is pretty cool uh Goldar here I was like uh not Goldar that's King Sphinx don't test me son so he sent it to me because I corrected him he also sent me a cool little note, which is funny. Uh, you can draw Deadpool pretty good, too. So he's like, what up? Thank you for your continued support of BFG Reviews. Thank you for correcting me on my total intended error. Uh, enjoy the package. Peace, Nate. Um, he's awesome, dude. Fellow Canadian. Uh, sent it to me. It's the original um, from 93, so that's pretty cool. On top of that, I was not expecting him to send me anything else. He sent me another Power Ranger figure, a Megazord on top of that. He sent me the Lost Galaxy Megazord. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's going to be right beside my, my Morphin Megazord. Pretty cool. Happy to have those. Um, I'm going to get into something else here. So, on the... Yeah. Yesterday? I think it was... Yeah, it was yesterday. Um... I was just on uh, local wanted ads, and this guy reposted something from um, Summer. In Summer, he wanted to sell his his lot of Pokemon cards. He said he had over 800 of them, and he wanted to sell them a dollar a piece. No one's gonna buy them a dollar a piece. You're not gonna sell them that way, right? So he reposted it the other day, and he said he wanted 90 bucks for the lot. I told him, "Would you do, you know?" lower than that we got got them down to 60 bucks so i got 900 pokemon cards for 60 bucks i thought it was pretty good pretty good deal um it's gonna be kind of hard to see them they're all packaged up nicely but i went through them just to check it's gonna be hard to see but there's 900 of them and 125 of those are holographic and reverse holographic so we got stuff like rayquaza um they're like newer newer gen i think so we got like sylveon Got some trainer cards in here. Got Salamance. We got a uh, cool little holographic Pikachu. Cool little stuff. I'm not going to get through all of them. There's 900 in there. I counted all of them. But yeah, out of all 900, 125 of those are holographic. So I thought I did pretty good. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I was going to get some more stuff. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at all this pile of stuff I got. Um... So, as you know, Power Rangers, right? We're talking about Power Rangers because Nate sent me some stuff. I bought a lot of uh, Power Rangers stuff this, this month. Uh, most of which came in... When did it come in? I think three days ago. And I just put it to the stack say, Hey, you know what? I'm going to put this in a pickup video. So, I went on Amazon and I, uh, I pre-ordered the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Super Sentai... Uh, Zauer Ranger seasons. Um, uh, Shout Factory is a company that does, you know, dubbing and releases of DVDs and such. But they're doing, uh, well, this is the first one they did. They did the complete season of Zauer Ranger, which is what Mighty Morphin Power Rangers for us was to Japan. So, yeah, there's a lot of differences in this one. Like, for one, the Yellow Ranger is not a girl, it's a guy. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. I'm only on the first disc. There's 10 discs in this. Um, I've seen most of them, but to actually have this in my collection to watch forever is pretty awesome. Uh, it was pretty cheap too. It was like 35 bucks. Had it on pre-order. It's awesome. Like, they put it together very nicely too. These are little book sleeves. I, I love these things for DVDs. But yeah, there's 10 discs. Bonus features over... Hold on a sec, I'm going to check. There's 50 episodes. 
And uh, they said if they do well on this one, they're going to do uh, some other ones. So I'm happy for that. Hopefully you can do more. Also, I uh, imported a Japanese Sentai DVD. It's in subtitles, just like that one. But uh, that one's American release. This one's only for Japan. Uh, Go Kaiger Cross Go, Go Seizure 199 Hero Battle. Um, this is about the Go Kaijers, right there. There's Captain Marvelous. Uh, and the Go Sigers. What happens with the Go Kaijers is that they're pirates, they're like space pirates, and they pretty much steal ranger keys. And w when they use a ranger key, they can turn into that ranger. So uh, these guys want them back. So they fight, and then a bad guy comes in, and they're like, you know what, why are we fighting? Let's fight this guy. Really, really fun show. It's a movie, by the way. It's not a show. I corrected myself. Uh, really, really fun movie. I'm going to try to get into more of the seasons. Uh, they're just really hard to find, and most of them are quite expensive. But uh, I watched all of Gokaiger, and it's one of my favorite of all time. It's really, really good. So if you're into it, into Super Sentai, recommend this movie. Okay, more Power Rangers stuff. I oh, know, Power Rangers. Uh. Um, got some SH figure arts for the collection, which I'm stoked about. We got the Red Ranger. Red Wind Ranger blah, from Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Uh, looks really, really nice. Like, like again, SH Figure Arts always do the greatest, greatest, this thing's wiggly, uh, the greatest sculpts. Uh, and on top of that, I got the 20th anniversary of my Amorph Power Rangers, the Red Ranger with the Dragon Armor. Uh, Dragon Armor from the Green Ranger, as most of you know. I do have the Green Ranger one over here. I did not open it. I may open this one, though. Because uh, that Red Ra uh, Green Ranger goes for like 160 bucks now, I think. 130 ish around there. Uh, I just don't want to open it. And it looks nice like that. So I'll open this guy for sure. And I don't have a Red Ranger. So, well, Red Ranger from Figure Arts. Now I got two. So, yeah, I got those. Um, got some gifts from uh, sisters, pretty much. I got one for my sister and one for my sister in law. So, uh, just going to get into them. Dragon Ball Z. Budokai Tenkaichi 3 for the Wii. Uh, say that three times fast. I'll wait. No. Um, awesome. It's complete. Um, I don't have this. And she knew I like Dragon Ball. So she's like, you know what? I'm going to give this to Chris. I say thank you. And uh, my sister, she gave me this. And uh, she didn't like it very much. Uh, it's, it's not a very good game by any means. But she kind of sent this to me as a gig, gig gift. Um, I, I, I've seen her play it before, and I was like, what the heck is this? It's called, it's for the PS2, Falling Stars. Um, it's a really girly game. Like, you dress her up. Uh, it's pretty much like a Barbie game crossed with Pokemon. Because you collect these little monsters, you fight them. And uh, I'd never played more than 10 minutes of this. Because the loading screens are atrocious. They take forever. Um, yeah. But uh, it's like a running joke with me and my sister. She's like, if I'm ever going to give you a game, it's going to be Fallen Stars. And thank you so much because I got it now. Hooray. Uh, yeah, so I got three more stuff. Three more things here. So that's it. Uh, you can stop after that. You can go on with your lives. I got games! Current gen games! Holy smokes! So when I bought those Power Ranger games from uh, Power Ranger Toys, I bought a game from Amazon. Something I really wanted so, so bad. Um, the wife and I are playing it, and she actually is kicking my butt at it. Uh, Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. So happy to have this. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to start doing Amiibo stuff, because why not? Everyone else is doing it. But if I'm going to do Amiibos, I'm going to get only characters that I like. Like Fox and Diddy. But yeah, it's... Uh, I love this so much. So, so, so much. The wife and I were playing it and we were having so much fun. We were on teams and we weren't on teams. And just... I can't wait to have some people over. Maybe I'll even play with you guys online. That'd be cool. Yeah. Smash Bros! 
And yeah, um, a game I just beat last night and does not deserve the hate it gets in reviews. It's a really, really fun game. Sure, it might be on the short side, but it's phenomenal. It's the, the graphics are some of the best, even though that's not should be a selling point. It should not be a selling point. The graphics are some of the best I've ever seen. Um, the story is awesome. The voice acting is superb. Um, the Order 1886. Love it. It's great. It's a great game. Um, like I said, does not deserve the hate it gets. Uh, highly recommend it if you're into third-person shooters. I'm not really really into it, but I'm into old-timey mustaches. That's why I bought it. No, I, I just wanted to see you know if I liked it or not, and I could always resell it, right? But no, this, I'm keeping this. Good game. And last but not least, you guys can go after this. Uh, Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate for the 3S. A friend of mine picked it up in the city. It was nowhere to be found here. In the next city, which is like 250 kilometers away, nothing. He had to go to the next city, which is like 200 after that, 150 after that. Um, but he found it for me. So he got it, picked it up. I played about half an hour of it, and I'm loving it. It's a really good game. So that's it. You guys sat here for 16 minutes and some change. Uh, yeah, got a lot of stuff. I'm feeling better. Thanks for everybody who actually, I actually told I was sick and uh, sending their best wish wishes for me to get better. I got better. I feel better. Yeah, so got a bunch of stuff. And my fandoms are full for the month. So yeah, thank you to Chad for sending me that stuff. Thank you from Nate from BFG Reviews. Uh, thank you to my sister, my sister-in-law. Yeah. Thank you to you guys for sitting here watching my videos. So, that's it, guys. Squeaky chair. Um, I'll let you guys go now. Uh, have a nice day. See you later.